My next project's pretty routine upholstery. The local high school brings these out periodically. They're weightlifting and workout benches. A uh, matter of pulling staples and changing out the covers. Need to be careful with these plastic panels. These seem to pull out of the wood pretty easily, but this, this plastic's pretty brittle in it, and it will crack. I've told this director at the school to watch these benches and make sure the foam doesn't get damaged and they've done a very good job. Once the foam's damaged, the divots will show up in a new cover. I'll start patterning the uh, cover. Generally, the cover is one inch over the size of the, the uh, platform or the board. In this case, it uh, looks like we're at 10 measuring off of the original cover. It's an inch larger at 11. So we'll follow the same formula on length. 36, so I'm guessing this will be around 37. I'll start by squaring off the end of this vinyl. Lay out my 11 inches. All right. Get my 37 here. I'll square it off. This lid matched up pretty nicely on my corner arc. Okay, I need to lay out this strip of vinyl to go around the outside. Looks like five inches will be plenty. I don't have enough yardage so I have to make this out in two different pieces. Doesn't have to be neat but I'll try to center them both at 46 inches there. Oftentimes when you order short yardage like this, two yards the cutters will throw in roll ends, and this one's got a really nasty blemish in it. Unfortunately, uh, it's there, but I'm going to try to work around it. Okay, this is the opposite end of that cut, so I'm going to square this off too. I'm going to make a little allowance on these. I needed 46. I'm going to go 47 and a half. There's not going to be any degree of waste with that. Go up 10 inches. 5 inches there.
always got to keep the end square. Alright, I should be able to match these up so that the blemished area gets pulled underneath the seat. Start by folding this back and marking my centers on the end. I've got a 23 gauge needle in the machine. It helps it from slipping stitches. Use a light gauge in the fabric materials. Okay, I'll stop short of the center reference here and I'll square these up and match the ends. I'll make a half inch seam allowance here. Square these up. I'll match these up so that the blemished area goes to the bottom of this strip. It should pretty well pull underneath, be hidden. Square up these ends and match them up. Okay, I'll increase my stitch size and we'll do a top stitch around the outside of the seam. That's a wrap on this cover. The plastic on there lets the cover slip and adjust easier. Try to line up these center, those centers. A lot of the staples initially will be just temporary to get your placement and can be adjusted. Looks like I got a few little nubs of thread I need to trim. Okay, I'll see how this looks on top and palm the cover into place. I'll have to find a good, comfortable medium here. I'll flip 
flip this over to the other side and work a little back the other way. Divide these out evenly right here. Neatly fold those back inward. All right, I'll trim away this excess and Put the plastic panel back on. I'm going to put a couple extra shots so the seam doesn't let go. Looks as though this is already cracked. There's a metal plate that goes here. I've always warned my customers that this plastic could break. It looks like we'll get along okay. Okay, that's a wrap on this job.